Next, we're moving up into the upper leg. This is a complex area. There's a ton of things that, that we could work on here. We're gonna keep it relatively simple. We're looking for dysfunction or excessive tightness, maybe working on old injuries or strains of, of any of the muscle groups from the quad. You know, you've got your medials, you've got your laterals, you've got your rectus femoris. We're gonna do a little bit with adductor work as well. I'm trying to cover a lot of surface area, so I'm gonna go with my larger tip. Most of my clients and patients find that the softer durometer in the larger tip actually provides the best most comfortable feel it maintains consistent contact and if I do need more pressure I can just increase my speed but for now I'm just going to turn it on low and I'm going to start from right above the patella I'm going to come right up the belly of that quadricep all the way up to ASIS and I'm going to go all the way back down working back and forth bigger muscle group I may spend a little more time here but same components here we're going to go up and down all the way up, all the way down is one repetition. I want at least four to five to six of those. On the last couple, I am gonna, at this point, you can see I'm not putting any downward pressure on my hand at all. And as I start to get to the end of that warm up phase, then I'm just gonna put gentle pressure down and make sure that I'm sliding that muscle tissue up and moving through that as effectively as possible. Now, because this is such a large area, I'm gonna do that down the front, I'm gonna do that down the inside, of course, I'm not gonna go right to the groin as I come up, I'm gonna cut out and come back up towards that anterior hip, back down and across the inside, vastus medialis. Um, I'm also gonna to go to the outside, of course, here we're dealing with your IT band syndromes a lot of the time, so I'm gonna come all the way up, greater trochanter, working that all the way down to the lateral knee. But this is general application, so if I were to start digging in, identifying areas of particular tenderness or, or sensitivity, I would be able to do that. One thing I do like to do here if I'm working on the inside of the leg is I like to relax the knee and let externally rotate it so I can get deeper here if I want to dig into that vastus medialis obliquus muscle or I can come down a little bit further into the adductors depending on the condition that I'm working on. Okay. Um,